And now there's a new form of cyber matchmaking, college networking websites. Is this perhaps the next big thing? In Watertown, Massachusetts, Mark Zuckerberg, creator of Harvard's thefacebook.com. What is the Facebook exactly? It's an online directory that connects people through universities and colleges through their social networks there. All right, so here we are. The website the went online only last year, and already 100 million videos are viewed on YouTube every day. In case you don't tweet, it works something like this. On Twitter, users can send messages through a global online network, any message, as long as it's 140 characters or less. First of all, everybody can sit down. It's much easier to tweet from a seated position. President Obama tweets. So does the Pope. Everybody now has a voice. It's not just certain select few. Looks perfect. Here we go. Three, two, one. Antique and jewelry business owner Brenda Richel is connected to Facebook 24-7 thanks to her BlackBerry. And then I found this little kid on YouTube in the middle of the night. And that was Justin Bieber. Here's an idea. Instagram is the greatest thing to ever happen to photography. If Twitter has turned everyone into a potential journalist, maybe Instagram has turned everyone into a potential photojournalist. This week, an aging autocrat who ruled as a modern pharaoh fell victim to those weapons of the young, out-organized and out-maneuvered by social media by kids with keyboards. Without Facebook, without Twitter, without Google, without YouTube, this would have never happened. But this is a question I get all the time. What's Facebook going to be in 10 years? And I would say, I cannot even begin to answer any question like that about any internet business. Please proceed. My name is Frances Haugen. I used to work at Facebook. But I'm here today because I believe Facebook's products harm children, stoke division, and weaken our democracy. Oh, the U.S. Surgeon General today issued the first ever public health advisory on the negative effects that social media can have on young people. We have seen an increase in depression, in anxiety, in suicide, in loneliness. The rate for the youngest girl beginning in 2010 shoots up 189%. I find someone that's like really pretty and then I'll look at myself and I'll be like, oh, I wish I looked like them or something. The short-term dopamine-driven feedback loops that we have created are destroying how society works. I told Jack Dorsey when he was still running Twitter that he should just delete it. The Washington Post reports Black Lives Matter was among the groups both promoted and criticized in Russian bought Facebook ads. The company itself was founded on using Facebook data. Is this how you want history to remember you as the handmaiden to authoritarianism that is on the rise all across the world? This technology that you have invented has been amazing. But now it's a crime scene. And you have the evidence. AI has been blowing up lately. What was your first reaction when ChatGPT launched? Big round of applause for special guest Sam Altman. It was eyes open and oh my god. Self-driving robo-taxis are already on the road. I want a blue dog in the style of Art Deco. And boom. Most people will be happy with their AIs because their AIs actually listen to them. I use GPT-4 as a therapist. I love to sing karaoke using my new artificial intelligence voice. Say something. It takes one PhD student, their entire PhD, to do one protein. With AlphaFold 2, over Christmas, we did the whole human proteome. We are working to build tools that one day can help us make new discoveries and address some of humanity's biggest challenges, like climate change and curing cancer. You can have a computer with the same inventiveness that a human has. You can ask that computer to invent all the things that humans invent. We hear from people who are excited. We hear from people who are concerned. My question is, what kind of an innovation is it going to be? Is it going to be like the printing press? Or is it going to be more like the atom bomb? Huge technological breakthrough, but the consequences, severe, terrible, continue to haunt us to this day. Congress failed to meet the moment on social media. Now we have the obligation to do it on AI before the threats and the risks 